And Kate, as Elsa moves closer to our area, many along the shore are bracing for the threat of flooding and high winds. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is in Brigantine tonight with a look at the preparations underway. Alicia? Hi, Yuki. Well, today was a picture perfect day at the shore to beat the heat, but locals know not to take any chances as Elsa nears. They tell me the biggest concern is flooding, especially here along the seawall in Brigantine. And they tell me this time Friday, this could be underwater. Well, you can't let your guard down. From the ocean to the bay, Brigantine locals are keeping a close eye on Elsa. We're pulling out about 55 boats today. Bob McCready has been overseeing Bob's Marine for more than five decades. We're almost two miles straight water over to Absecon, so the waves can build up to five to six feet easily. This area will get it worse than the rest. Flooding is also a big concern for waterfront residents Ken and Donna Herman. Usually move the car to uh, you know higher ground, the other end of the island, or where the uh, clubhouse is. That's like the highest point. And while most are taking the storm in stride, I got uh, hurricane windows, so I'm in good shape. We've seen worse down here. Everyone agrees. Better to err on the side of caution. I think what we learned from Sandy was not to be complacent. Tonight, we've also learned power crews both along the New Jersey and Delaware beaches are adding additional staff over the next few days. They're warning folks about the possibility of power outages to charge your devices tomorrow ahead of the storm. Also here in New Jersey, crews are warning residents to take patio furniture inside, warning them of that threat for high wind gusts that could toss any of that furniture around. The preparations mode will be in full effect tomorrow here along the Jersey Shore. Reporting live in Brigantine, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you. And we will have continuing coverage of Elsa and the impact it's going to have on our region. The next track update will come out at 5 a.m. Larissa Abreu will have that for you. And remember, you can always get your forecast anytime at CBSPhilly.com.